There goes the runner. And Tino Martinez crushes one to right center field. And the New York Yankees have taken the lead. Tino Martinez was voted to start the All-Star game by the fans, who recognized his as one of the finest first halves in Yankees history. A first half that has him on a home run pace with Ruth, Mantle, and Maris. Yeah, I don't know. I can't explain it. I, I'm taking the same swing I've always took. It just seems uh, I've been a lot more patient and getting better pitches to hit. And when I do take a, when I do swing at him, it seems I'm hitting everything perfect. Mariano Rivera, meantime, has been everything close to perfect after a shaky start as New York's new closer after learning to master his emotions like his fastball. I was too, too excited. Oh, I make it too much big deal about the rule, you know. I wanted to do the job so well, then I, I couldn't do it right there. Back off the disabled list, right in time for the All-Star game, is Bernie Williams, the catalyst of the club. Oh, it's just such an honor. I mean, uh, I certainly thought that I had no chance, you know, with all the players that uh, we have in this league. But it's certainly a great honor, and I uh, now remember it. Many took Torre to task about adding Bernie, but had he not been injured, his numbers might have been better than anyone's, which is why Williams is so appreciative. Perhaps the most appreciative Yankee to be picked is former Blue Jay David Cohn, who last year suffered an aneurysm and was left wondering if he would ever pitch again, much less pitch in an all-star game. You never know if you're ever going to make it back. And this one's probably the best one for me uh, because of the injury I had last year. So uh, this makes it awful special, and you just want to enjoy every minute of it. As will Paul O'Neill, added at the last minute as an injury replacement. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.